last time on the channel, Rio and I safely arrived in Denver, Colorado at the Chrome Yellow Shop, founded by this guy, my friend, Charlie Kern. If he looks familiar, it may be from seeing him on HGTV or the History Channel. He's pretty cool like that. I have officially moved into an apartment with my new roommate and friend, Lauren, and her pup, Gus. I already know these two will become great friends for Rio and me. I really hit the jackpot when it came to finding a roommate on Craigslist. But I have no time to waste. It's time to get to work. First things first, I now have to rip up this floor. Last couple boards are giving me a little bit of a fight, but just a water break should do it. It's 96 degrees today. It's a hot one. She's looking pretty good. Just did a first sweep out. Now I gotta go through and take out the screws that are still in the floor. See if I can get all these out. Yeah, that'll be a good day's work. chisel. We use this to take off all of the side paneling and ceiling as you can see. This is my least favorite part so far but that's all right we're getting to it. If you can't tell I'm really enjoying learning how to use power tools. Having never picked up a power tool before all this, it feels like Christmas. It's a lot of fun not knowing how to do something and then figuring it out. But if I'm being honest, there was definitely a time where I felt insecure about not knowing how to build. But I just decided to lean into it. I've made it my job to not know, <laughs> which means it's my job to be the best student possible and figure it out. Consider me a professional not-knower. <laughs> it's definitely the most fun job I've ever had. That's for sure. Ouch. After a long, hot day, I was able to conquer the rivets. As tiring as it was, it was even more rewarding. Progress and sweat feel really good. I took out every single rivet in this mess. It was 95 degrees today again, but I did it. And 
tomorrow I will rip the paneling out. I just have to figure out the most strategic way without hurting the window frames if I need to worry about that. But that'll be for tomorrow. gonna go home now. <laughs> Mario. Forgot to take some video, but with the help of Ben from the shop, we were able to get these guys out. All the panels out. Time to get all this old insulation out. Okay? As I finish demolishing this bus, I reflect on the demolition I've done to myself. It seems we have two choices in life, evolve or repeat. Recently I've bet it all on evolve, on breaking myself down for the sake of being more, feeling more. I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but if you're doing the grueling work of breaking yourself down just to build yourself up. Please know your suffering is not in vain. It's safe to dive deep into yourself. Love yourself through those dusty and dirty corners as you carve yourself new. For me, this evolution has been worth it beyond my wildest imagination, and I haven't even begun to rebuild yet. I reached a tipping point where pain turned to realization, realization to peace, peace to excitement. I have never felt more at home in my own mind. It's okay to be lost in the muck of your evolution. Just know you're not alone and that there's something more on the other side. Okay, today, this morning I ripped up these stairs. They gave me a little bit more trouble than I would like to admit. But now, I get to use the angle grinder again and pull up all the bolts that just will not come out of the floor. And then I will grind them down. Yep, here we go. I got tools. That next guy just came. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited. For those of you wondering what's in the kit, I will also link it below, but drill driver, impact driver, hacksaw, circular saw, grinder, multi-tool, work light, batteries, charger, bag. That's what we got. Oh, and then I also added on the impact driver bit set, which I think will have every bit I will possibly need for my entire life. Baby's first power tool set. Woo! Okay. Time for the long sleeve because uh, we're grinding now. Using the angle grinder and the grinding blade to grind off some of the rust and the little bits of the 
bolts that I couldn't get with the cutting blade. So technically I was supposed to get a wire brush, but I didn't. I got the wrong one, but Charlie said I could give it a go. Just don't go crazy. And just see if this, uh, this wheel will work. If not, I'll go get a wire brush. The floor is actually in really good condition. The only problem areas were really the wheel wells. I was able to get off all the flakes. There we go. This one's looking extra nice. She's looking pretty good. Now, we was, <laughs> we was to treat. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. We rust treat with this stuff. What am I saying? Get this done. Yep. After rust treating the floor, Charlie came out to check on the progress I'd made, and we began to discuss our plan for insulation. We realized that if the bus had just a few more inches of headroom, the possibilities for this build would really open up, which would require a roof raise. Unfortunately, Charlie is tied up finishing a build for another client which I'll give you a sneak peek of. Here's a taste on just how talented the Chrome Yellow team is. It's a bummer they don't have the time to do my roof raise, but luckily for me, I just so happen to know a guy who's also an expert at roof raises. So I decided to give Wes from Transcend Existence a call on the off chance he had the time and was willing to work on my bus. Would you believe it? The stars aligned again. Looks like the bus and I will be taking a quick trip back to Kansas. Ugh. It's 3.45 in the morning and I am getting ready to drive to Kansas. <laughs> Let's get going.